Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Deed Harrison from Chiropractic Biophysics Seminars and Technique and Chiropractic Biophysics Nonprofit, a Spine Research Foundation. What I'd like to do in this video presentation is discuss the cervical dental roll in terms of the clinical randomized trials that my colleagues and I have performed showing that this device is capable of improving the cervical lordotic curvature, decreasing forward head posture, and also improving patients' pains, disability, and health outcomes. Now, oftentimes, patients think that they can just lie on a cervical uh, rolled pillow or a cervical towel in their bed or on the floor, and they can get the same results of improving the cervical curvature. While that's a good start, that's really not by itself going to change the cervical curvature. How do I know that? Well, these randomized trials that we're about to go through, we've studied the rolled towel as a placebo intervention as part of some of these trials. And what we find out is that lying on the cervical towel by itself does not change the cervical curvature. Now that doesn't mean don't lie on a towel rolled up under your neck at night. It's a nice thing to do. It's a start instead of lying on big pillows that put your head forward. Or better yet, get yourself a contoured pillow. For example, Denerol has a Denerol cervical pillow that is made for sleeping. However, it has not been found to change the cervical curvature by itself yet either. Really, the best evidence for changing the cervical curve is via in-office methods or this home orthotic, the Denerol. So what we're going to do is go through some of these trials that have studied the cervical Denerol so the patient and the doctors out there watching this get an idea of its effectiveness. Uh, first and foremost, I need to thank my colleagues, my friends, my research uh, allies overseas at Cairo University in Egypt and from the United Arab Emirates. Uh, we've teamed up over the last decade and we've produced several very, very important research trials showing the effectiveness of rehabilitating the cervical curvature. So without Professor Ibrahim Mustafa and Professor Alia Diab, uh, these studies would not be possible. So thank you very much uh, for your assistance with these uh, projects and all the time and, and hours. So does cervical spine correction improve pain, disability, and nervous system function in patient populations using the Denerol? Now, just to give you an idea of the effectiveness of the cervical Denerol, we, ha we have a video motion x-ray of a patient lying over the Denerol. And what you'll see when we place the Denerol peak in the lower cervical spine on the x-ray, it dramatically improves the cervical curvature. So here's the jaw up here, here's the top of the neck and the base of the skull, and you can see the shadow of the Denerol. And we see very deep extension at the segments that were around the peak of the Denerol. It also very nicely improves anterior head translation posture when you place the Denerol low enough. You will not get that same effect on a rolled towel or a pillow. So the Denerol is key. When you see this type of video evidence, you realize in your mind as a patient, what does it do? Now keep in mind when you use the Denerol, you're going to lie on this Denerol starting at three minutes the first few sessions and then you're going to build up to where you can stay on the Denerol for 15 to 20 minutes per session. Now most people it takes one to two weeks to be able to lie on the Denerol comfortably in their cervical spine for 15 to 20 minutes. You don't wanna rush it too fast because it may create some soreness because your body's not used to the process of having a cervical curvature. So you've gotta follow the recommendations that your prescribing healthcare provider has set forth for you. Now, to find a practitioner that is trained in application and prescription of the cervical denerol, we're going to direct you to cbppatient.com. cbppatient.com is on the idealspine.com website. Now, if you'll go to this website, what you'll notice is when you do this as a consumer, you are able to find a patient directory uh, as part of the website. Now, cbppatient.com, there's multiple things that are on here as I pull up the website for the patient in terms of uh, what types of 
uh, information uh, a patient should read or look into when they're looking at corrective care for their cervical spine. The reality of it is though, uh, what I would like to show you here is uh, simply directing you uh, to how to use this website. So cbppatient.com is where patients can find doctors that are trained in the indications and contraindications for the cervical dental roll. Now what the consumer, the public, the patient has to realize is the dental roll is not something you can just buy on your own and use. It's, it's not a toy. It is an evidence-based prescription orthotic where you have to have an exam and an x-ray to identify are you a candidate for this device. So chiropractors that are trained in this will prescribe the dental roll for their patients that actually need this and are indicated candidates for it. So if you're out there, you're a consumer, you wanna know where to get the dental roll, you have to go to your prescription-based orthotic provider. In other words, you have to go to your healthcare provider. Now here, what we can do is we can look up multiple things on what CBP technique is, uh, which is the technique that has spearheaded the development for and, and the concepts for using the dental roll properly. So you can look at what chiropractic biophysics technique is, but the reality of it is, here's where I wanna direct you, is find a CBP trained and dental roll trained chiropractor in your area. So you just go to this uh, directory and it's really user friendly. You just type in your state, your city, your zip code, and then you hit the find button and you pull up different providers uh, in the area. For example, I'm sitting here right now in Eagle, uh, Idaho in the United States and this can be an international directory too and what I want to do is narrow my scope or my search down to 10 miles so what I'm going to do is search Eagle Idaho and you'll see that there's multiple providers here in Eagle Idaho which is really my clinic myself uh, Dr. Shirlene Harrison, uh, Dr. Joe Betts, who used to be uh, one of my uh, chiropractic uh, partners here at my uh, facility, who now has his own facility, uh, and you can look him up as well. And then multiple individuals, for example, Justin Anderson here, who is an associate doctor at my facility here in Eagle, Idaho. But hopefully what you can do as a consumer is you can easily access dental and CBP trained providers on this website and just call them up and say, hey, I'm interested to see if the dental is right for my cervical spine. And you'll have to go in and do an examination, spine x-rays of your neck to see if you're a proper candidate for this device. Okay, so that's the uh, dental directory and the CBP doctor directory, okay? So hopefully you'll find that uh, information valuable for you. Uh, and then what we're going to do next is cover five separate randomized trials in a very patient friendly manner to where you can see the effectiveness and the outcomes of patient populations like yourself that has used the Denerol. Our fifth and final randomized trial that we've published to date uh, that it exists to date that you can access is right here. Does improvement towards a normal cervical sagittal configuration aid in the management of cervical myofascial pain syndrome? A one-year randomized trial by Professor Ibrahim Mustafa, Professor Alia Dia, Fatma Hagazi, PT Masters, and then myself, uh, Dr. Deed Harrison. This particular investigation is our most recent uh, peer-reviewed publication on the Denerol, and this was published in the BMC Musculoskeletal Disorders, and this was in 2018, volume 19, page 396, okay? So you can access this full text article online, and you can see uh, more information about this. What I wanna do is just summarize this particular project and describe what happened to the subjects that received the cervical dental roll to rehabilitate the cervical curve and forward head posture. Now, people with chronic myofascial pain syndrome, 
this can be a very frustrating disorder. It'll come and go and you've got muscle pains and impairment, you've got what we call trigger point and sensitive tissues in your cervical spine, upper thoracic spine, trapezius area, you even have suboccipital headaches and tension types of headaches things. So myofascial pain syndrome is a chronic musculoskeletal condition that actually over the life of somebody it can affect up to 85% of people. The range of motion in the neck is reduced. You've got increased muscle tension, reduced elasticity or stretch in the soft tissues. Uh, you've got weakness in, in the musculature in the neck. And then you've got local and referred pain in the neck and the upper back. Spinal manipulative therapy, massage, acupuncture, uh, electrothermal uh, therapy, dry needling, exercise rehabilitation have all been investigated, but there's really low quality evidence, especially for the long-term effects of this disorder. Now, short-term effects, there's some good evidence, but what happens at long-term follow-up one year later when you stop doing these interventions? The problem is in chronic cases, the condition gets bad again. There's, there's really no great long-term hope in most of the trials for these individuals. Also, there's not a lot of trials that have even looked at the long-term follow-up. So what we looked at is we said this, it appears that there's abnormal posture and altered cervical curvature in a subgroup of the people with this disorder. What that means is it's not everybody that has this, but there's a percentage of people, 60 to 70% of people with this disorder that actually have anterior head or forward head posture and loss of the cervical curve. Maybe the reason why they don't get better at long-term follow-up is because their neck curve and the posture didn't get rehabilitated. So that's our working hypothesis in this trial. So what we did is we took subjects that had forward head translation as measured on the posture and the x-ray and then rounding of the shoulders. We took postural photographs and initial x-rays and we included subjects that had these two conditions in our group for our investigation. All the subjects had to have chronic myofascial pain symptoms, they had to have reduced range of motion, and then they had to be a candidate for the Deneral, okay? We hypothesized that restoration of the normal curve and head posture would improve the outcomes at short and long-term follow-up in patients with chronic myofascial pain syndrome. Lo and behold, what we identified is the group that got the Deneral had the best short-term outcomes and they had the best long-term outcomes in several measurements. Neck pain and disability. How much pressure can we put on your muscles in different areas before the patient says, ouch, that hurts? It's called pain pressure threshold. We used algometry. We found out that people that got the Deneral, they could take a lot more pain or pressure before they uh, had a pain elicitation at long-term follow-up. Whereas the people that did not get the Deneral, slight pressure still caused a lot of pain with them. Very important. We also showed that the range of motion in the neck dramatically changed in the group that got the Deneral because the forward head posture improved. The group that did not get the forward head posture correction via the Deneral did not have long-term improvement of cervical range of motion. So this trial was absolutely uh, groundbreaking in as much as it showed long-term follow-ups were improved in the group that got the Deneral. If you're somebody out there that has chronic neck pain, disability, or you have decreased range of motion, and it's due to a myofascial pain type of syndrome, and you have it, uh, like a decreased uh, uh, pressure threshold where small pressures cause a lot of pain, you should consider going in and having a workup and a lateral cervical x-ray and evaluation to determine if you're a candidate for the Deneral. This randomized trial shows that when we improve the cervical curvature, we change the long-term outcomes of myofascial pain syndrome. Hopefully you enjoy, enjoyed these five randomized trials that we've performed on the cervical Deneral. Taken as a whole, they're really very groundbreaking evidence and information that's pointing to the fact that when you restore the altered cervical curve and you improve anterior head translation in the candidates that it's right for, it will improve chronic neck pain, chronic disability, chronic myofascial or muscle pain, it'll improve 
nervous system function as measured by the sensory and central conduction time. It'll improve cervical range of motion and position sense. That's what we've identified collectively in these five randomized trials. It's not that there's no other interventions that are important. What's important is that you've also got to work to improve the shape of your neck curve and the shape of, or the amount of anterior head translation. And one of the, the most evidence-based prescription orthotics that, that is available for people to use at home to help the interventions that are being done in an outpatient uh, uh, clinical setting, either at a chiropractor or a physical medicine or a physical therapy provider's office is the cervical dental roll. So if you're a person out there that's watching these video series, hey, let's seek out a trained provider that is trained to use the cervical dental roll. It might just be the missing piece to your puzzle or to solve your puzzle. If you're a provider out there and you don't know about the dental roll, look us up online and let's get you some information on using the cervical dental roll. It might just be something that takes your patients from small to moderate improvements to amazing improvements when you rehabilitate the shape of the cervical curve. Hopefully you enjoyed this presentation. I'm Dr. Deed Harrison.